Yep, that's right. It's free and it's used by professionals. If you're looking for the most basic tutorial, then you're in the right place. Okay, so if you haven't downloaded DaVinci Resolve 16, just go to blackmagicdesign.com and you go into this website, this wonderful website. Everything you need to know, you can find here regarding the DaVinci Resolve 16. All right, so just click download. This one is the free one and this one is the paid one. Okay, so just click whatever OS you have here. And when you finish downloading that, and install your software just go and click the resolve if it's your first time to open it it will just show like this then you will just need to click the new project and then just name the project that you want basic video editing basic yep create okay so this is the main interface of the vinci resolve 16. so you have here the media media tab wherein you could precisely or see everything in your media pool this one is where you cut but I don't really use this one I immediately just go to edit this one is for the effects this one is for the color grading in which we will not be tackling today because we're just going to be uh, for the basics Fairlight for the audio and this one is for deliver for your exporting Okay, so for you, for us guys today, we will be going into this tab, the edit tab, and go to your file, go to project settings, so you can adjust the timeline that you want to be using. So it's already set here, 1920 by 1080p, or 1080 HD, in which it is 1080, full HD. If you want 4K, just use 380 by 2160 this is the 4k resolution and everything is okay if I'll be using 24 frames per second but if you want 30 frames per second if that's what you prefer just go here and choose 30 but for now that's 24 and I'll leave everything like that okay just click save then when you're done with that you're gonna go here on the left side and just add beans for me the first thing that i'm going to be doing before i start importing is to add beans so i'm gonna i'm gonna name the first bean videos it's where i'm gonna put my imported videos next is music yep and you can add more if you want like sound effects photos screenshots screen recording i just want to do it like this because i want it to be organized okay so when you're done with that just go to videos and click import media okay so i already prepared four clips right over here and i'm just gonna click open and i'm gonna i don't want anything to be changed because i think i shot this with 60 frames per second to slow it for by 40% so I'm gonna click don't change okay so now that I have my clips over here I'm also going to import my music your love from artless okay so after you have imported your footages or videos or clips and your music that you're going to be using for your video it's time to trim and cut okay so the way I do my trimming is I don't drag all of these clips down in the timeline but I click which of the clips I like first so uh, yep I'm gonna try this one first so when you double click this the clip will show in the source monitor in which you can add in point and out point and now because I don't want the audio to be included on the timeline for this clip I'm just gonna drag and click this one click and drag so when you drag this one it's just gonna show you 
the video itself. No audio. Okay. So because I don't want this to be here, I forgot to add a timeline bin. Hold on. I forgot to add a timeline bin. Timelines. Because sometimes you will be having a lot of timelines as well when you're working in a very big project. Okay, so it's there. Okay, so next one that I would want to be next in there is this one. All right, just double click, put input and out point, in point and out point. Drag the clip, only the video, no audio. Next is this one. So in point and out point drag the clip but if you want to drag the video and along with its audio just drag in the middle and you see you can have the audio and the video as well but I don't want that okay and the last clip is this one all right Okay, so now for the audio. For the audio, I'm going to drag it all the way down from this side. From the bin to the timeline. And yeah, I'm just going to cut it. You can also cut your clips or anything in the timeline by clicking B, which is this one. Okay, so it's now cut. I'm going to press A. To have this one, the selection mode, A, and then you're just gonna delete it. Okay, so I'm gonna try and play this one. And that's it. You can add fade in and fade out on the sides by clicking these buttons right over here as you can see so you have that fade in effect all right so next one that you want is to add title in here you can choose the normal text or the text that you can add effects but for now i'm just going to choose this one and drag right over here do a fade in and fade out edit your text by click double clicking okay I'll be adding a text down so let's stand if you want to change anything on that if you want to change the font or the size of this title that you have made just go to inspector just click inspector and you will see this tab in which you can edit and do a lot of things for your title all right so that's times new roman normal good with that i'm just going to use that and yep size is right over here the color and everything like that okay Okay, so by the way, I before I forget, while clicking a clip or anything here, the clip and the video and the audio, by clicking in the inspector, you can you can change the settings and things like that right over in this section. Like the normal, the blend mode, you want to add color burn right here. You want to zoom it out, you want to zoom the clip, you can add it there. Okay, you can also rotate it as well. That's what it, you're into. Just reset it from here. All right, so now that we're done, you have text, clips, cutting, trimming, and things like that. You can also trim by using it here, clicking and dragging from the sides of your clips. You can also trim and cut. Okay, I guess that's it for here. 
after you've done these things and you want to export you're going to go to this tab the deliver tab and you'll see right over here we have presets on the tab wherein you can click YouTube for 1080p normal for uploading in YouTube or in Facebook or you can just do a custom one and just choose whatever resolution you want in your video or whatever but because I have chosen 1080p oh by the way H.264 is the most common codec for uploading in your Facebook or in YouTube so if you're going to upload this one in YouTube just click on YouTube or in Facebook it's the same just click the name and then 1920 I'm good with that H.264 yep and then after you're happy with everything all the settings that you have assigned in this section just click browse save it wherever you want to save name town save it's gonna go to that folder so just click add to render queue and then you're going to want this to start render so you will be rendering this and exporting it to your final video okay so it says completed let's check and close this software save so let's check it right over here all right so that's it those are the simple steps that you can try and practice to start editing your videos in DaVinci Resolve 16. I hope you enjoyed and learned from this video and if you are still up for a little bit advanced than this tutorial let me know in the comments below please hit that like button subscribe and ring the bell button to be notified for the next videos that's it for today guys see you in the next one